Yikes. So it looks as though the Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears saga continues. And yes, we do have talks of settlement deals, but we also may have some new evidence involved in this situation. So let's unpack it, y'all. You are now listening to The Unpopular Opinion, the R-U-O, your girl, Rondell, bringing you the latest on news, politics, entertainment, and more. Like, share, and tap in. What is up, y'all, and welcome to the channel. Now, even though the mainstream media has moved on to other stories, this lawsuit with Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears is still going on. And shout out to Radar Online for giving the updates on this story. Now, the last time I spoke about this, I was speaking about potential settlement talks, and I was also speaking about the differentiation between Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears, where Tiffany Haddish was continuing to get booked, yet Aerie Spears was feeling like his career was over. Well, according to Radar Online, there has been an agreement to reach a settlement in private and they dropped this article today, which is September 19th of 2022, and stated that Tiffany Haddish, Aerie Spears, and the two accusers, Jane and John Doe, have agreed to work out a deal privately. Now we're gonna get into the logistics of how this deal had to be worked out, which in my opinion is suspect, but I would love to know your opinions down in the comments. But Radar Online pretty much stated that Tiffany Haddish and the two alleged victims who sued her for sexual assault have reached a deal to block the public from seeing the original complaint. And again, this is according to Radar Online. Now we already know that with these allegations that were going on, that Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears denied all kinds of wrongdoing and that these allegations were completely false. And Tiffany Haddish moved the case from state court to federal court. The federal court officials had temporarily sealed the complaint because it contains several photographs of a minor and the judge told Tiffany Haddish and the accusers to tell the court if they wanted to make these photos sealed or public. And they are agreeing to keep these photos sealed away from the public. Now, major shout out again to Radar Online because they have been keeping up with this. And last week they were reporting on this, speaking about how the alleged victims were stating that they were ready to settle and they were basically demanding that Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears recant those shakedown accusations that they were talking about when they did release statements initially about this lawsuit. Now, according to Jane and John Doe, they were stating that the defendants who are Aerie Spears and Tiffany Haddish have instead chosen to reach out to their mother versus them to get her to force them to settle. So basically they were stating that Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears kind of really wanted to just give them money and for the mother to put the pressure on the kids to settle this with money. Now, Jane Doe pretty much stated that my brother and I are amenable to Tiffany Haddish's desire to engage in mediation and settlement talk. And she also claimed that she had reached out to Tiffany Haddish's lawyer, Clifton Albright, that laid out basic terms of the parties to engage in these talks. But get this, she said, meaning Jane, she said that the mediation would have to be paid by Tiffany Haddish and also y'all, has to take place in Las Vegas within the next two weeks. Jane also has stated that if we succeed in agreeing to a settlement, she was willing to put out a joint statement with Tiffany Haddish where they would both state that the parties have agreed to a private statement and that Tiffany Haddish must publicly apologize for her role in the skit. Jane was also stating that she wants Tiffany Haddish to recant her shakedown statement directed towards their mother and state that she never intended to harm her brother, herself, or the mother. So basically Jane wants her to state that she did not mean to harm this woman and her children. And at that point, Tiffany Haddish did not respond to court. Now, I don't know why they stated that this has to take place in Las Vegas and why this has to take place within two weeks. If anybody knows why Jane Doe would state that, drop down in the comments and let me know. 
I found that to be somewhat weird. And I really want to honestly see the outcome to this. And the fact that there are even photos involved in this entire situation, it just seems as though this situation just in general in its entirety may have been some type of collateral over their heads. Don't get me wrong, I do believe that this is definitely the hand of accountability for both Aerie Spears and Tiffany Haddish and what's done in the dark eventually coming to light. However, multiple things can be true and exist at the same time. And I do believe that this is given a little bit of sprinkle of unfriendly extortion, just by the way and the manner and how this is taking place, stating that it has to take place within two weeks, what they have to state, what they have to basically recant. It's just coming off a little bit odd, but hey, it could be that, listen, they want justice in totality. And if they feel as though a false statement was put out against them or about them, and it basically helped shapes public perception and public opinion, then they want the statement recanted, then by all means, I guess. But I just found this a little bit weird that this had to take place within two weeks and it had to be in a specific place. I don't know whether or not they live in Vegas and they did not want to travel and basically stating that the, the people who allegedly violated them must come to them, maybe because they are residents of Las Vegas. I'm not sure, I don't know. So basically, not only was there videos, but there are photos, other photos that the public has not even seen yet, all right? And according to the federal court, they will never see. And this is probably why Tiffany Haddish's people moved this to a federal court to keep this more of a tight lip. Because honestly speaking, I feel like Tiffany Haddish wants to basically use her small hat connection, y'all. I already told y'all that Tiffany Haddish is a small hat and she gonna try to make this all go away so she could try to quietly get back to her bag i truly honestly do believe that i feel as though tiffany haddish may have a stain on her jacket that she could never get off with this but i feel like she's gonna do everything in her power and use all her assets she's gonna use all her resources to make sure that she's able to wiggle her way back into the good graces of america's households i'm sorry but i see her trying to do that with this in my opinion again airy spears he has definitely rubbed people the wrong way in the industry for a very long time and i really do honestly think this is the nail in his coffin i don't believe there's any bounce back for him and that's just that i mean i could be wrong y'all drop down in the comments to let me know but i'm looking to see how this one is gonna play out and i want to know your opinions do you feel as though this is the hand of accountability coming down on airy spears and tiffany haddish do you feel like this is unfriendly extortion or do you feel like this is a combination of both all right how do y'all feel about these photos that are gonna remain sealed with john doe as a minor drop down in the comments let me know thank you guys so much for tuning in and tapping in make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the notification bell hit for all new videos so every time we go live or drop a pre-record you are definitely in the know i love y'all y'all take care and y'all be well peace